Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's Physics Lessons. In today's lesson we'll be looking at useful and wasted energy from the energy topic of GCSE Science and GCSE Physics. By the end of the lesson you should be able to describe what is meant by useful and wasted energy and describe some examples. We live in a world full of devices, electrical appliances and machines. We use them for all sorts of reasons. To wash our clothes, to keep in contact with friends and family, for entertainment, to cook our food and keep our houses clean. All these devices transfer energy which is useful to us. However, when electric current flows in the wires of a TV or a computer, the device can warm up. Also, friction between the moving parts of a machine like a treadmill or car, causes the parts to warm up. So, some of the energy supplied isn't transferred into useful energy. We say some of the energy is wasted. When John rides his motorbike, its engine transfers energy from the chemical energy store of the fuel to the bike's kinetic energy store. This causes the motorbike to speed up so it is the useful energy pathway. Some energy is wasted as sound and heat from friction in the engine, which dissipates or spreads out to the surroundings. When you ride your bike, you push down on the pedals and you want all your energy to make the bike go faster by increasing the kinetic energy store. But friction between all the moving parts causes some of your energy to be wasted heating up the different parts of the bike. This can be reduced by using oil to lubricate all the moving parts. The oil reduces friction and so less energy is wasted, so the bike will go faster. When you heat up your home you want it to stay warm for as long as possible. But if the house isn't well insulated this thermal energy can be dissipated to the surroundings and it can get cold very quickly. To stop this we can use insulation to reduce the energy losses. Examples of this include loft insulation, cavity wall insulation, draft excluders and double glazing. To summarize the main points you need to know. Useful energy is energy transferred in the way it is wanted, like the kinetic energy of a sports car. Wasted energy is energy that is not transferred into useful energy, usually as heat energy dissipated to the surroundings. We can reduce the amount of energy wasted by lubricating moving parts, to reduce friction, and by using insulation to reduce heat loss. If you found this lesson useful please give it a like and subscribe to see future lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.